Big money and blueprints engineers earning like doctors? Think structural engineering is just about crunching numbers in a cubicle? Think again, these are the folks who make sure bridges don't fall down and skyscrapers can handle hurricanes. It's high pressure work but the payoff can be huge. We're talking salaries that rival doctors and lawyers. Yeah, you heard that right. With the right skills and a little hustle, structural engineers can pull in some serious cash. So, how do you get in on this action? Let's break it down. Busting the myth it's not all peanuts and pocket protectors. There's a misconception that engineering is for starving artists, not high rollers. Wrong. The truth is, your earning potential as a structural engineer is through the roof. It all depends on a few key factors. Think of it like building a house. You need the right foundation. In this case, it's your education. A solid engineering degree is non-negotiable, but that's just the beginning. Experience is king. The more projects you work on, the more valuable you become. And location? Believe it or not, where you live can make a big difference in your paycheck. We'll get to that in a minute. Bottom line, don't believe the naysayers. There's big money to be made in structural engineering. Location, location, location. From coast to coast, your paycheck can grow. Remember that old real estate saying, it applies to engineering salaries too. Big cities with their towering skylines and massive infrastructure projects often mean bigger paychecks for the engineers who make it all happen. Think New York City, San Francisco, or even booming cities in Texas. These places are constantly growing, and they need skilled engineers to keep up with the demand. But hold on, that doesn't mean you have to pack your bags and head for the bright lights just yet. Smaller cities and even rural areas need structural engineers too. And with the right experience and specialization, you can still earn a fantastic living. It's all about finding the right fit for you and your career goals. Climbing the ladder degrees experience and knowing your worth. So, you've got your engineering degree, you're gaining experience, and you're strategically located. Now it's time to climb that career ladder and boost your earning power. One way to do that is to further your education. A master's degree or even a PhD can open doors to more specialized and higher paying roles. Think of it as an investment in your future. Experience is key, but don't be afraid to ask for what you're worth. Negotiating your salary is a crucial skill, and it can make a huge difference in your overall earnings over time. Remember, you bring valuable skills to the table. Don't be afraid to advocate for yourself. Going for the gold specialize, negotiate, and watch your income soar. Want to really rake in the big bucks? Consider specializing in a high demand area of structural engineering. Think seismic engineering in earthquake prone regions or coastal engineering in areas vulnerable to hurricanes. These specialized skills are like gold and companies are willing to pay top dollar for them. And don't forget about networking. Attending industry conferences and joining professional organizations can open doors to new opportunities and higher paying positions. Networking is about building relationships, sharing knowledge, and who knows, you might even land your dream job through a connection you make. Remember, building a successful career takes time, effort, and a little bit of hustle. But with the right mindset and a solid plan, you can achieve your financial goals and build a rewarding career in structural engineering. Build your future, you got this. So there you have it. Structural engineering isn't just about crunching numbers and drawing blueprints, it's a dynamic and rewarding field with incredible earning potential. Remember to get that solid education, build your experience, and don't be afraid to negotiate your worth. Specialize in a high demand area, network like crazy, and watch your income soar. The sky's the limit. Got any questions or war stories about making it as an engineer? Hit me up in the comments, I'd love to hear from you.